Good morning, everyone. Once again, welcome in computer classes. Uh, students, I hope that uh, you all understood that lesson one input and like output devices because uh, many videos were there and we explained about input and output devices in a different, different way even than uh, last two videos that uh, we revise again input output devices and then uh, uh, processor, uh, processing unit, everything we revise it also and we uh, provide you that uh, worksheet also, answers of that worksheet also. So hope you got it everything in this lesson, okay? So now today I start that which uh, exercise you have in your textbook in your uh, chapter 1 that uh, exercise I will show you here and I will explain here ok so whenever you get your textbook then you can write the answer uh, of this uh, exercise in that textbook uh, right now if you don't have textbook but you know that in a PDA format we send you so if it is possible, you can take photocopy of the lesson one from that uh, PDF of, uh, file, okay, of this lesson one, and you can fill that uh, fill in the blanks and uh, do your pose, whatever exercise is given there, okay. So now I discuss that exercise, which exercise given in the textbook, okay. So just uh, stay with me and show that exercise. Okay, so now, lesson 1, exercise from your textbook. Before the, just I explain the exercise very quickly, I want to show you that content which is given in your textbook, lesson 1. So you are familiar with your textbook content because uh, we know that you don't have a textbook with you okay hard copy you don't have if you have then you have a soft copy only that which we send you through the pdf so uh, that's why i just put the content from your textbook so at least you go through from this okay otherwise you already shown that many videos on this uh, lesson one okay fine so this is that uh, chapter one from your textbook input and output devices okay I just show you the content which given in your textbook. This is input devices. Okay. That uh, the device through which we can enter data and instruction are called input devices. That most common used input device is the keyboard. That the last in that uh, uh, video, uh, PPT video also I explain about input devices. Okay. So now common input devices like keyboard, mouse, microphone. Hmm? Okay. No need to give more explanation in detail because already we explain in a detail. Okay. So I just uh, show you the content which is in your textbook. That's why only I put this here. Okay. Then more input devices like touchpad, touch screen, light pen. You can see that the pictures also here. Then digital camera, web camera. Okay, then trackball, here you can see this in a small box, so you can see that the trackball. Then scanner, three types of a scanner, flatbed, sheet flat scanner and handheld scanner. Then output devices, monitor, the most common output device is a monitor, it should look like a television, everything already we explain, okay. Then two types of monitor like CRT monitor, LED monitor, LCD monitor, then bring a speaker. Uh, that uh, speaker also it is an output device hmm? and it's used to listen to music or sound effects from the computer. And then printer. You can take a hard copy. There are different different printers available, inkjet printer, in, uh, laser printer. Hmm? That uh, from the lesser printer we get uh, better quality than the other printer. Okay, then processing device. That also uh, you show the video last uh, uh, previous session. 
that at a revision of this, then central processing unit, it means CPU. Hmm? Okay, yes. Now, uh, this is the important here right now because I want to explain this exercise. Okay, this exercise, it is given in your textbook in lesson 1. Okay, so now first I start from filling the blanks. Yes, filling the blanks. First one, the physical parts of a computer are called desk and the answer is hardware. That you know students that uh, even uh, that in uh, that previous videos also that uh, we explained that whatever the parts that we can uh, touch it, they all known as a hardware like a monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse, speaker. These all devices we can touch it and we can move from here to there. So these all are known as a physical parts and that's why it is known as a hardware. Okay. Then the second one, the desk printer, uh, printers give very high quality output. Just uh, before only I told you that with the lesser printer we can get a better quality output. So the answer is lesser printer. Then the third one, a desk copies the text and pictures directly into the computer. Yes, definitely the answer is scanner, that from scanner we can copy and we can directly, uh, we can send directly into the computer. Then the next one, a dash is used to share pictures and have live chat with our friends and relatives. And it is, the answer is web camera. You know that uh, students that through the web camera we can, even that I give you that uh, one example that you are used to with your uh, parents' cell phone and you give your relatives or your uh, friends that video call. Okay. So what is this? This is the one type of web camera. It is already inbuilt. Hmm? Okay. Now the next one. This device display the result which we get after processing. And the answer is output. That output device this uh, device display the result which we get after processing. It means you know that output device uh, monitor hmm? we get display on the monitor, so it is a output device. Fine. Now the next question: state true or false. First one: a digital camera is used to share pictures and have video telephony on the internet. It is a force. We can snap the pictures uh, in, um, the, with, the, with the help of digital camera or we can uh, um, shoot the video, but we can't use as a telephony. It means video calling. We can't use that uh, digital camera as a, for a video calling through the internet or on the internet. So it is false. Then second one. A light pen is only used with LCD monitor. So this statement is false because light pen is used uh, in the CRT monitor. With CRT monitor, okay, not LCD monitor. Fine. Then the next one. A touchpad is mostly used in the laptop computer. And this statement is true, definitely. Uh, students, that uh, if you have a laptop, then also you can see that the touchpad it is available in a laptop computer. It is not uh, available in a desktop computer. Fine. Then next one. Speakers are used to record voice, music, and sound into the computer system. This statement is a false because speakers are used not for recording. It is used for hearing. Okay. Uh, microphone. Microphone is used for record voice and music and sound. Okay. So this statement is false. Fine. Understood. The next one. The CPU manages all the jobs of a computer. And this statement is true. Definitely, because the CPU, you know that it is a, like our brain, so it manages all the jobs of a computer. I just show you here. Yes, look at here. 
uh, in this central processing unit paragraph hmm? uh, that uh, second last uh, sentence that uh, it performs it performs all the jobs which we want it to do okay so this is through which we can do different different type of tasks okay it manages all jobs of a computer fine so it is true this statement is true now next match the following by coloring the correct pair with the same color but maybe you are get confused uh, if i put color so i haven't put color here but i show you with that uh, arrows i connect the arrows with the uh, proper matching it is there okay so now we start from the first one mouse so look at here mouse and here in b section you can see that a hand held pointy uh, pointing device okay so that i show you with arrow here okay got it then next one light pen and the light pen it means it's a, you have to just show the answer here you, you have to see the answer here only used with crt monitor okay as already i explained uh, that the light pen you can use only with the crt monitor not with led or lcd monitor fine then the third digital camera so look at here the answer the last box in a b section transfer photographs into a computer okay got it then mu memory unit hmm, memory unit now this is a connect here on the second box in a b co uh, section stores information memory unit that name only has its meaning stores information got it then the inkjet printer yes look at here that in b section the fourth box use for a routine business work it means for a routine business work you can use inkjet printer no need to use laser printer okay so uh, that is uh, the answer for a use for a routine business work okay and then the next and last one speaker speaker the it is a answer here in a b section the first box used to listen to music and the sound effect okay fine so hope that you got it this all three questions like a uh, uh, fill in the blanks here fill in the blanks and your false and match the following uh, hope you understand this exercise okay <coughs> so now okay students so today i completed this three question of your uh, exercise of your first lesson in a computer fine uh, now the next questions uh, it will be um, provide you tomorrow okay through the video only so it, uh, you can get the all answers of this whole lesson fine thank you bye